Well, the Human Trafficking Task Force for the 14th Judicial Circuit will hold a virtual open house event today. This gives potential partners in the area a chance to learn about the mission, upcoming events, and how to become involved in the task force. News 13's Tess Rowland is live in our studio this morning. Uh, and Tess, what can you tell us about the issue here in the Panhandle? Hey, good morning, Chris. Northwest Florida has the highest human and sex trafficking cases per capita for children than anywhere else in the state. Dr. Lori Lawrence on the executive board of the task force says, according to the Department of Child and Family Services, 201 children were rescued from trafficking situations just last year. However, the data fails to account for both adult men and women in the area. So Lawrence believes that it's safe to say the number of victims are in the thousands. Lawrence also acknowledged that trafficking is one of the largest crimes in the world, but it's also the most complex and can often be linked to other crimes like drug trafficking. Traffickers are not stupid. Traffickers are very, very smart individuals. It's not what we see in the media or on TV, um, and they know how to, to exploit their victims. It's about exploitation. So if you have a drug addiction, it's very easy for me to use you I supply your addiction, you supply me with a higher income from it. Lauren says sex trafficking is often about coercion and control, and anyone can become a victim to the crime. Some key signs to look out for are someone who is isolating themselves from family, someone who may acquire fancy new objects like a new purse or clothes. This is because often their trafficker is trying to groom them and gain their trust. The task force meeting takes place today at 11 a.m. Central Time via Zoom, and a link to that can be found on our website, mypanhandle.com. The task force is open to all advocates across the panhandle, including those in Calhoun, Gulf, Jackson, Holmes, and Washington counties. So if you'd like to join and help with outreach, education, training, and victim services, you're more than welcome to.